تولید سوخت هسته‌ای در جمهوری اسلامی ایران A number of nations believe Iran is covertly developing nuclear weaponry, but Tehran insists that its nuclear program is a legitimate pursuit of peaceful nuclear power generation. Iran points to its Boucher nuclear power plant, which will start producing electricity later this year. The United States is one of the countries voicing concerns about Iran's nuclear intentions, but history shows that Washington actually provided the genesis for Tehran's program. At the Plowshares Fund, nuclear proliferation analyst Joseph Serencioni. People forget that it was the United States that sold Iran their first nuclear reactor, a research reactor still in operation at the University of Tehran. And the Shah of Iran had plans, similar to those of the Iranian government today, to build 20 nuclear power reactors in Iran. in Iran. These plans were approved by the United States. Iran's justification for nuclear power is based on the 1968 Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. Tehran is a signatory to that agreement, which is explained by Nuclear Threat Initiative analyst Corey Hinderstein. The Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, or NPT, is a treaty of almost all the states in the world, with the exception of India, Pakistan, Israel, and North Korea. Those states that didn't have nuclear weapons commit to never acquiring nuclear weapons. And all states work towards the preservation of the right of states to the peaceful benefits of nuclear energy. The NPT provides the right for all states to have the peaceful benefits of nuclear energy. And that includes nuclear power, the use of radioisotopes for medical or agricultural or industrial purposes. Yet another provision of the NPT is that signatory states are allowed to enrich uranium, a key component in nuclear weaponry. Iran has justified enrichment as a way to make nuclear fuel and has recently opened a facility in the city of Isfahan to do that. Iran already processes uranium at another facility in the city of Natanz. One who questions Iran's intentions is Center for Strategic and International Studies senior analyst Anthony Cordesman. Well, in reality, we don't know where Iran is headed. It clearly has rejected every bit of international pressure to halt its ability to develop a sophisticated enrichment program which could be used to produce nuclear weapons material. Iran gets strong scrutiny because of its history of not following the requirements of the International Atomic Energy Agency, which watches over NPT compliance. Gory Hinderstein lists some of the violations. It had built centrifuges and enriched uranium in secret without declaring. It had produced plutonium in a research reactor without declaring. It was committed to announcing the, um, the plans to construct any fuel cycle facilities, which it, it did not do. So there were real uh, violations of that safeguards agreement. International nuclear experts say regulators are not as concerned about proliferation from Boucher, which was completed by the Russian civilian nuclear agency Atom Enigoprom. At the U.S. Brookhaven National Laboratory, senior scientist Upendra Rochi explains why. The deal uh, or agreement between Iran and Russia is that they will supply the fuel and they will take back the spent fuel. This way it prevents any diversion of nuclear material for proliferation purposes. Iran's nuclear enrichment facilities at Natanz and Isfahan and the heavy water reactor being built at Iraq are what most proliferation analysts worry about. Jeffrey Young, VOA News.